بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد The 21st juz of the Quran or the 21st para uh, continues on with the end of Surah Al-Ankabut and it starts with Allah's statement to basically debate with Ahlul Kitab in the best of ways and call them to the Tawheed of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then it concludes uh, by mentioning uh, several uh, points regarding the Tawheed of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and certain signs of Allah in his creation after that we have Surah Ar-Rum and Surah Ar-Rum begins by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prophesizing the uh, the defeat of the Romans at the hands of the Persians and then how in a few years the Romans will be victorious and on that day the believers will be joyful and then Allah concludes this point of this uh, you know uh, this victory by mentioning that Allah grants victory to whomever he wills and so this is a prophecy for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that eventually you also will be victorious because Allah gives victory to whomever He wills. And then Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala mentions uh, that uh, the disbelievers, they have a lot of knowledge of the worldly life. They know much about this dunya, but they are heedless. They are completely heedless and neglectful of the akhirah. They have zero knowledge when it comes to the Akhirah. As for the dunya, they are very knowledgeable and this is something that uh, we can see very, very vividly in today's day and age. Uh, after that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, mentioned several of his ayat, his signs in his creation uh, from the alternation of the night and day, uh, the creation of man and how Allah has made with man his spouse his wife, and how he has made affection between them, and several other ayat Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also mentions uh, in this surah that uh, the reason for corruption in the land, you know, uh, the corruption that we see on earth, the reason of it basically is what we human beings have done. It is because of what we have done with our hands. Uh, and then after that, uh, there are you know uh, several points regarding the Tawheed of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and a refutation of the Mushrikun who associate partners with Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. After that, moving on to the next surah, and that is Surah Luqman. Surah Luqman uh, basically uh, is concerning the uh, the advice that the righteous servant of Allah, Luqman, uh, gave to his, to his son. And we notice that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that the very first thing that he advised his son with is the tawheed of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not to associate partners with Allah. Then after that he mentioned uh, several other pieces of advice uh, that are very, very important such as uh, obedience, and respect to our parents even if they are disbelievers and other pieces of advice. What we notice here is that uh, Luqman advised his son with what is most important and that is uh, you know, uh, what his belief should be, what is in his heart of Tawheed, of uh, the veneration of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not associating partners with Allah. He began with that to prove that whatever follows it is as a result of that belief in the heart and vice versa. If you see a person who, uh, you know, his physical uh, actions and his character is uh, very bad, then that is a result of a deficiency of Tawheed and Aqeedah in his heart. Uh, after that, we have Surah to sajda Surah to sajda basically is a very, very short Surah here. Uh, in among these surahs, 
uh, it basically mentions uh, you know, uh, the, the reality of resurrection after death and how it is the truth that we will rise uh, from our graves in the next life. And uh, also it mentions how we were created. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us and eventually uh, he will bring us back to life after our death. And uh, uh, basically, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also mentions uh, in this surah that uh, there are two qualities that uh, basically uh, lead a person to have leadership uh, in the deen. And these two qualities are as-sabr wal yaqeen patience and uh, conviction or certainty. Uh, and this surah, this surah, uh, it is from the sunnah to recite this surah uh, in uh, Salat al-Fajr uh, on Fridays. On Fridays. After that, we have Surah al-Ahzab. Uh, just the beginning of it. Uh, this juz ends with the beginning of Surah al-Ahzab, and it starts by Allah Subhanahu wa Taala commanding His Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to fear. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to have the taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, and then it mentions uh, that, uh, you know, the, the, the wives of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa are our mothers. So they are the mothers of the believers. Uh, and then it mentions the battle of Ahzab, which is the battle of the confederates, uh, which was also known as the battle of the Khandaq, the trench, uh, when the confederates, the, the munafiqun and the mushrikun and the Jews all uh, came together and, uh, you know, laid siege on Medina and the believers and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exposed the munafiqun, mentioning several uh, characteristics of these munafiqun uh, and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala eventually gave victory to the believers uh, in this battle. With that, we come to the end of this juz. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk.